Hello, today I'm going to talk about, not a specific book, but about book videos in general and what they're for and what we get out of them and how the format of them can best fit the information you're trying to deliver. So basically, I have been making videos consistently on this channel for, I think, four months now. Um, and my book videos have a formula. I do a one to two minute summary of what happens in the book and then I talk about whether I liked it or didn't like it and then I go through a couple of points that were either things from the plot or the characters or um, things that provoked me to think about about the book. I've always liked that formula because I think it delivers not just, um, you know, a review of the book, a book review, uh, but also some bit on top of it. But now I'm thinking maybe that formula doesn't actually serve as well as it could because um i mean it doesn't work for people for people that have read the book and want to hear my thoughts on it hearing like me chat for a few minutes about what it's about must be quite annoying um and then if you've never read the book you can't really get as much out of the second half um as you could so i'm not sure it really works i may have mentioned this before uh, but my friend and fellow booktuber ariel Bassett did a video entitled Femini a feminist book and some feminist thoughts uh, where she used um, a book that she was given to talk about on her channel as a medium to talk a bit about her feminist opinions that she hadn't really felt comfortable to bring up until then um, and talk a bit by about why she didn't like wearing a bra and stuff like that um, and I heard her talk about it at the booktube panel at Sitsi um, this year uh, and she was saying that that was a really that was like the only way that she would feel comfortable bringing up those topics on her channel is like through a book. I just realized you can see the top of my bookshelf so I'm going to zoom in just to just a touch. There we go. So I thought two things when I heard her talk about that and one of them was that oh great that this is the medium through which you can talk about that that's awesome and then the other one was it's a shame that there wasn't a another way of doing that or like she didn't feel comfortable doing it up until that point. So as I've said many times I really like talking about more than just the book when I'm talking about the book uh, but maybe it doesn't work that way around. Maybe it should be about the topic and then I can bring the book in as being like this is what I got out of out of this book to prompt me to talk about this um, but without going into like actually what happened in the book or whatever or maybe I just need to split them completely and have like normal book reviews like most people do on YouTube um, and then have these deeper discussion topics. I really just don't know what I want to do. Um, I wanted to ask your opinion on what you think um, is the right way to go about it because I know there's just such a different perspective if you've read the book I'm talking about or if you've not read and I don't know how to serve both sides well. Especially if there's a couple things I want to talk about in each book um, but really for, for like I'm reading a book right now, um, The Woman in White which is over there somewhere um, and I'm enjoying it but it is making me think a lot about what I generally don't like about Victorian novels and I think for the video that I'm going to do for that book that will probably be next week will be why I don't like Victoria novels, um, you know, featuring this book and it won't be about the book, it'll be more about uh, what I was thinking about the book. And I think in that case it'll be really appropriate doing it that way around. Um, maybe it's just something I need to experiment with over the next couple months and kind of just feel out and do it differently per book and not actually find a formula until I feel like I've settled on one that really works. So this was a bit of a random video, uh, but I would really like to hear your feedback on it because it's something that I can't see objectively at all. Um, and I could just go on forever doing it the formula that I have been doing, um, but really the only person that works for is for me, so I want to change that. So I'll see you next week for apparently me complaining about Victorian literature. <laughs> Bye.